Hello, Mother. This is Shireen, and I'm actually going to be over here showing you how to make a tincture. I'm going to make two today. I'm going to make one out of elderberries. The other one is going to be a pine needle tincture. The first thing that you want to do is get your mason jar. These are dry elderberries, so I'm going to fill it up halfway. So we've got it about halfway full with the elderberries. So what I'll do next is I'll start on the pine needle tea. And the reason why is because the actual alcohol I'm going to put, this is tincture, I'm just going to put a little bit of hibiscus or sorrel. It's going to pour a little bit in there because we just want to give it a little flavor. After that, this is the alcohol here. So it says 90 proof right there. So you'll know right there. So you don't, you shouldn't have to. This is vodka. This is the bottom of the shelf vodka. I think that one was $11.95 and this one's $10.95 because it's only 80 proof. So I mixed them up. So now it's going to be probably 85 proof. But what I decided to do since I was going to do this tincture and I wanted to add turmeric to both the elderberry syrup and the elderberry syrup and the pine needle tincture that I was going to put everything in the blender first. So I'm going to add cloves because I use cloves for both of them. These are whole cloves. And that should be plenty. Then I'm going to add some fresh turmeric. It's frozen now, chopped up, but it's still turmeric. And so with the turmeric, turmeric does not, it needs black pepper or buyer cream. This is whole black peppercorns that I am adding to the mixer because I want to ground them up. They help to activate benefits of the turmeric itself. Then I'm adding my fresh ginger, which is now chopped up, was frozen, because I decided I wanted it a little smaller. I'm going to add the ginger. I was not going to add it to the actual um, elderberry syrup, but it's okay. It doesn't change the flavor on it. And what I'm going to do is take this, and we're just going to blend it for a few seconds. Meanwhile, so, like I said, I only wanted to do it a little because I just want to make sure that this we're getting all the benefits from all these different um, herbs that we're using. Uh, when I cut them up, I didn't cut them up that small because normally I boil them, go from there. So what we want to do is pour this in here over the um. This is the elderberry side, so we're just going to pour this in. I uh, pour the mixture in. Now I'm adding the vodka to the top of it. This is the 80 proof. And what I almost forgot was to add the cinnamon sticks. We need the benefits of the cinnamon. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just going to add some cinnamon sticks to it. And if you don't have cinnamon sticks, cinnamon works just as fine. Just as well. So we'll add that. We're going to fill it up to the top. Use a plastic lid so there's no erosion. We're going to shake it up. I'm going to add a little more vodka to it. Vodka is always good with anything. And that's it for the elderberry syrup. I'll label it and put the date on it because it has to sit in a dark place for at least two weeks. So I'm going to label it, shake it up. I think uh, that's a good amount. So all I'm doing is taking the clean frozen pine needles, putting them in the mason jar the best I can because I tried to cut off the sticks of most of them. I'm just gonna, since the pine needles are fresh and they do have the twigs, we're just going to put as many in there as possible to almost fill it up to the top. Uh, so pine needles, the cinnamon, the hibiscus at the bottom. I'm going to pour in the turmeric, ginger, black pepper, and um, allspice. There's still some in the blender. We don't waste anything around here, so we're going to add a little bit of vodka in it to try to move it out. Fill the remaining oops with the vodka. Got filled to the top. Put our lid on. It has to be an airtight container. And I'm going to put it in a dark corner. Now, let me just show you. This has been two weeks. I start this April 6th. Today is April 24th. This is the elderberry syrup tincture. I wanted to try it first. 
some cheesecloth, fine cheesecloth, and I'm still going to use colander or strainer in it as well. Pour it in. Cheesecloth to get everything out, all the juices, all the elderberry syrup and the tincture now out. So we just turn it and squeeze. So this is it. I'm adding honey to this. But as you can see, that is how much it made, which is a, a cup. All you need is a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't need much. All right. Thank you. And please enjoy your day.